Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Sevahir aims at Baron's chest to shoot him. While walking, Sabiha notices the laser of the rifle and jumps in front of Baron. Dylan screams for mother and holds Miss Sabiha, while Chihan looks at his wound, fire it and have him draw their guns to scan the surroundings. When Sevahir says let's leave a gift for Baron before leaving, Ser asks what kind of gift it is, and says he won't tell, Baron will hear it or the surprise will be spoiled. When Yasmin gets annoyed that Harun is always messing with her and says she can't work like this, Severi and Sevdet try to make peace with Harun because he likes to tease people, and Harun and Yasmin argue again next to them. And Harun gets angry and walks away. Fire it and have an encounter a black car, but they cannot catch it and shoot after it. When Miss Sabiha faints, Dylan gets scared and cries, calling her mother. Meanwhile, Haven and Fire It come to them and tell them that they are running away by car. When Baron says, you go to the hospital, I'll check somewhere else, Dylan doesn't want to send Baron alone. When Dylan is not convinced, Chihan says he will go with his brother and they convince Dylan. While Sevahir is making plans for Baron, he warns Sir to prevent his anger. By saying, block me when I can't control my anger, while looking around, Baron finds the place and chair where Sevahir was watching his ladies. There they also find the queen pawn that Sevahir left as a gift. He expresses his anger to Chihan, saying, I will find him, he will fall at my feet and ask for forgiveness, but I will not show him the slightest mercy. Ms. Azade and Mr. Kudret are very happy to see Chihan, and they immediately hug each other. While everyone is hugging Chihan, Mr. Hassan wishes him get well soon from afar. When Mr. Kudret cannot see Dylan with them, Dylan asks where my daughter is. At that moment, Dylan comes with Haven, holding Miss Sabiha's arm. When Ms. Azade asks what this woman is doing here on such a beautiful day, Baron silences her by saying she will be our guest here for a while. While Baron explains what happened and says that thanks to Miss Sabiha, we were saved from being shot. Hassan says that Ms. Sabiha is a brave woman. Ms. Azade says that she did all of this knowingly to enter the Karabey mansion. When Mr. Kudret says, this is not such a thing, mother, we owe him a debt of gratitude, he protected our children. Baron approves by saying, you are right, father. Later, in the mansion, Baron says that he does not want to hear a single word about Sabiha that will upset Dylan. Dylan does not want to leave Sabiha Hanim for a moment. When Miss Sabiha says, I don't deserve to be here, Dylan explains to her, you saved our lives, everyone in the mansion is grateful to you. Baron, on the other hand, thinks about what happened in his study and gets angry and breaks the pen in his hand out of anger. Together, they talk about why he left the pawn and what he went through when Chihan was kidnapped and plan how to act from now on. When Firet's phone rings, he says, you scared us, little uncle, I have to go, and leaves the room. When Baron tells Chihan, don't let us go through something like this again, Chihan says, I wanted to prove that I have grown up, and Mr. Kudert says the same thing and hugs Chihan. When Dylan does not want to leave Sabiha's side, he always sits by her bedside. Miss Sabiha is also worried about him and persuades him to rest for a while, even if it is by force. When Dylan leaves the room, Haven asks Sabiha Hanim if Mr. Baron will ask if you will tell him what Sevahir did. Miss Sabiha says I don't know, but all I know is that I have to try harder to protect my daughter and her husband. Firet comes to Ghoul, and while Ghoul is hugging his neck and saying that he is very scared for her, Azade Hanim sees them. Firet says I don't want to be without you anymore, let's say, let's end this torture, and they hug again. When Dylan sees Chihan and asks how he is, Chihan says, I'm fine, thanks to you, auntie. Then they hug Dylan and Baron, saying goodbye to Dylan and Baron. When Chihan goes to his room to rest, Ms. Baron Sabiha asks how we should stop by and thank her for what she has done for us. Dylan is very happy, but he was going to sleep. My mother is aware of what he did. Baron holds his hand and they walk towards their room. 
Severi and Sebdet both talk to Harem and Yasmin separately and try to persuade them. When Baron comes to the room, he tells Dylan that we went through very difficult things today, we barely saved Chihan, and how he is afraid that something might happen to you. When he says, from now on, you will do whatever I say, Dylan asks, are you going to make all the decisions? While Baron warns Dylan that we should be more careful, Dylan says I would do the same thing again, there are places where I cannot listen, but Baron holds his mouth and prevents him from speaking. Dylan cannot stand the night and comes to check on Sabiha. When he sees you getting up from bed and sitting on the sofa, he convinces you to lie down on the bed because you need to rest. Miss Sabiha laughs and talks about the things Dylan did when she was little, and after wishing her good night, she is convinced to sleep and goes to bed. Dylan sits by the bedside and reads a book. Fireit and Ghoul have a coffee alone, then Ghoul sends Fireit away, even if he forces himself to do so. Lady Azade notices them. While Ghoul is humming a song to herself, she enters the kitchen and sees two cups on the counter. He makes a small threat to Ghoul and leaves. Dylan falls asleep while reading a book on the sofa. Baron comes and picks her up and carries her to his rooms. Miss Sabiha hears them and is pleased when she sees them. Then Miss Sabiha's phone rings and Sevahir calls and says that if you try to intimidate Miss Sabiha, you will pay the price. Sevahir says your daughter Dylan, what a pity, she was also very scared for you, thanks to me, mother and daughter made peace. Miss Sabiha gets angry so that you don't mention her daughter's name again. Sevahir hangs up the phone saying, we were partners, partners help each other, now rest, we'll talk again. Baron can't take his eyes off watching Dylan as he puts him to bed. When Dylan wakes up and says, my mother, Baron says, don't worry, he's sleeping, you slept too, you're cold there. They talk about how they are afraid of the difficulties they are experiencing and close the subject by saying, let's not talk about this subject anymore. Baron is awake, but he doesn't stay and when Dylan asks why you are awake and not staying, Baron says he is waiting for my wife to wake him up. Then Dylan kisses him on the cheek, saying, Baron Karabai, and Baron says, good morning Dylan Karabai, and Dylan leaves the room. He is jealous of Dylan's mother monitoring his medication and taking care of him. While Firet and Ghoul are at the door of the mansion, Haven comes to them and Ghoul gets very jealous. Firet notices this and wants to hug Ghoul to please her. Meanwhile, Ms. Azade is watching them secretly. Ghoul scolds him by asking what are you doing and goes inside. Dylan tries to find out what his mother likes for breakfast and Ms. Sabiha says, I will eat whatever you make, my beautiful daughter and Dylan goes to prepare it. Then he tells Heaven that Sevahir called at night and is trying to find out whether I will give him away or not, don't follow him. Meanwhile, when Baron comes and thanks her for what she has done, Miss Sabiha says that anyone would have done the same. Baron says that since you are showing modesty, I am closing this issue. Then, coming to the obvious issue, he asks who is this big partner who is trying to harm my loved ones? When Miss Sabiha says she doesn't know, Baron says, you said that Haven was the instigator, but I talked to a man we found and he said do it. Miss Sabiha lies again, but Baron poses a huge threat to Dylan, please tell me who this man is. While Dylan approaches the room with a breakfast tray. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.